Previously on the Quest Company. This you are terrifying, my yeah. fine construct. Who has summoned the skeleton man in this group? Oh, he summoned himself. He's scary as fuck. As I did not cut any of the ropes, I need, I need to make my feet untied. Your his, his voice missed. is really driving me. The fuck's more. really great. I wish I was more I'm, like, I'm losing. I'm losing. Frank, okay. do you want me to take his tongue out? Because I'd happily do so. If I die and I have not finished my business with your mom, with the whole fucking pirate thing, if I have not concluded my business and, uh, it's not possible for whatever reason for Zara to bring me back through more savory means. I want you to bring me back, all right? I have the will to see my business done, and I don't want to die doing some bullshit before I get there. Um, I'm on the floor. Yeah, see, now we're going to have fun. Oh, this is when the fun begins. Okay. Mm-hmm. You see Mateo, uh, lots of dried blood all over his outfit. He looks horrid. He's very pale. Very different than when you walked to sleep. Oh, that was not tickling. Speaking of renaming, that was a very good point. We have never actually considered having a group thing. Like oh, Cole's. yeah, yeah. I've never considered having a group leader. Can we all decide that that's pretty bogus? Yeah, yeah no, that's yeah, bullshit. Yeah, that's yeah. bullshit. If we need, to, if we need <laughs> to, like, present one of us, that's fine. But, like, that was weird to me. Like, yeah. Yeah. That's, 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 that's on that a situational basis, he, though. He, he, we don't have, yeah. like, a default. He was scared yeah. to piss out of it. Yeah, no, yeah, I, so, that, I saw yeah, that to be used to. Yeah, yeah. took the moment. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I appreciate it. But also, I just had to say that. didn't like it at all. Yeah, it was really, like... Yeah, there's food down the cellar. Carve is edible. I don't, think, I don't think we've resorted to that yet. Yet. Yet, Tabitha. You never know what'll happen. I don't need to eat, but I'll... You guys are pretty depraved, so... <laughs> <laughs> but do we want to seem nice right now? No, like, not yeah. like you seem nice. Like, you just make everybody trust you and feel better about themselves and feel loving and care for it. That's all. Wow. Okay, thanks. Wait, fuck, you don't have to. I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> How did you sleep last night? Oh, I did. I did as well. I've been dreaming about dead bodies for the past three days. And you know what? I'm kind of getting used to the look of them. Zara, you were running towards the street, if I recall, through the basement. Well, I thought I got stopped on the stairs. It's okay. It's been a long time. Okay. She's not no, left. I thought we were going down the basement. Yeah, and you stopped me down the stairs and you're like, just calm down. And I was like... I, I believe that's... see dead people! Oh. Where we stopped, right? Yeah. I slap her in the face. Ow! Slap out of it! Again, I'm bleeding! From my <laughs> eyes! In case I forgot. You think just more blood came out with that slap? <laughs> just take a breath. It could be worse. I'm gonna sit down on the bed. Because there's a bed in here, right? No, there's in a the chair, basement? though. No. No, in the little room. We're not in the basement. We're in the room. So I was going down. Like and in the like, little the yeah, stage room? There's a, here, cause I was going You're down. in the little like back closet. Yeah. And there's not a chair or bed. Oh! All right. I sit on the floor. I mean, there's like crates and stuff. I'm crying. Okay. It's I'm like a pantry. I got it. I'm not I got it. It's like a walk-in pantry. You're not weak. How many, old walk-in how many, pantry. How many fingers am I holding you? How many fingers? Uh, make a perception check. <laughs> At disadvantage, Tabitha, how many fingers are you holding up? <laughs> Tabitha is currently holding her middle finger up. Now oh one. no! How many fingers do you see? Where is your hand? Oh, okay. Do you do you want to? Why don't you just breathe and I'll go figure out what we need to do. I need to go, and you guys can figure this out. I'm gonna meet you back but up. But you I'll don't know what go. you're looking for. Shit. Yeah, you you just sit here. Just hold on. Okay. I can't okay. even see. I can't even go. Maybe I should just sleep it off. Do I have a little, like, bell? A little bell? Yeah. Do you have a bell? I have ball bearings. Does that count? <laughs> that is, is not a bell. Okay. No, I don't think I do. <laughs> I think you m- might, actually. A I bell? I think you like might <laughs> have a uh, bell. Peter Pan. Uh, uh, I think there's a bell in the thieves' tool. Are you or, serious? Yeah. In the thieves' You're tool? Like, for a little, like for a little trap See? for setting up a little song? No, I'm gonna tie it to her so she moves. No, but I'm like, saying, is that is that why the hell there's a bell in thieves' tools? Is what I'm trying to probably I'm, right. Yeah, makes sense. Set off a trip wire in case you find a cat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, just in case. Yes, yeah, when I have a cat, keep him entertained. It could skin 
animals for you and make you like a little dress. Uh, I like okay. There is <laughs> there is not a bell in ah, the store. Wow. It's there, in one of the kits. Is there anything jingly? I also have a a disguise kit. Is it in that one? You know what? Sure, there's one yes! disguise kit. Yeah, because I, I can't remember bell. which kit it's in. And I disguise yourself as a cat. <laughs> oh, she can't see me, right? Uh, it's cosplay, okay? I can, down. like, vaguely. I, I, everything's just blurry. I, I do that. You, I mean, you can what see you motion. I, I know. Put my I, hand in front of her face. Thanks. And I hold like, your hand. Like, it, okay. it, it, is, it is close okay. enough that you can see fairly you well. You your hand. I'm like, it's okay. I can grab your I was assuming the finger was far away. Oh, okay. That's good. And we just hold hands. Like, there once you get close, you can see. <laughs> is there a way I can, like... Attach the bell to her without her knowing sneakily. Make make a stealth make a make a sleight of hand. Sure. Oh, <laughs> piece of dice. One. <laughs> Perfect. What was it? No, you leave that in there. One. It was a one. Makes sense. Did you want to know because again? it's a one. A, it's a bell, and so as you tie it on and her hand moves, it it makes a a, a ring. Why are you giving me this? Just. Hold just hold on, and I just want to tie it. Help me tie it in her hair. Oh, oh, I. She's rather short hair. In the long streak I left. So you're tying it like right on her face. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Do you want to just hold it? Yeah. If you start feeling like you need to move, just ring it, and we'll come help you. Like if I need to pee. Yeah. Oh, should I just sleep? Yeah. Why don't you take a little nap? Okay. I mean, we just woke up, but... You did just wake up. <laughs> Going okay. back to bed will be very difficult. <sighs> okay, I'll try. I don't think I can, but I'll, I'll try. Okay. Just stay still. Okay. If you move, I'm going to know. Can I ring it if I just want some, like, music? For yeah. me? It's a me thing. Yeah. It's for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm leaving. Here I go. <laughs> <laughs> and I walk out so, of the room. So Zara is just... <laughs> Sitting in a closet with I'm just bleeding to eyes. Yeah. yeah, close my eyes. I'm definitely closing my eyes. Okay. Yeah. Um, they feel sore <sighs> as you close them. It's like kind of like swelling, <sighs> yeah. sort of thing. Fair. Are you trying to do anything in this closet? No, just or you breathe, just calm down? You know. Just... Okay, but you're not trying to like take a long rest or. Well, if I can, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Make a Constitution saving. You throw. can do it. Now one. Oh my gosh, wow. these dice. What now you one. go to sleep. Oh. You wanted that was a low on that Literally one. the only number that would have gotten oh to a long rest. You, you are you are You did it. You lay I'm down, sleeping. curl up on the floor okay. and with the bell, I guess, and Yeah. Okay. You like flew pass out, right? Oh my god, yes. Good sleep. Guys, this is true to my personal character. I know. I, know. I always fall asleep quickly and, you and be, strongly. Uh, back up and going in eight hours. Okay, unless someone wakes me up. Correct. Yes. But if Great. they do, then you will not get better. I sneak rest. out of the room. Okay. Okay. News. She cool? She's asleep. Is she dying yet? No. Okay. I don't think so. Well, she's asleep. We we just woke up. I yeah, I don't know. I think she's just stressed out. Oh god, sad yeah. depression. Oh, oh god, <laughs> uh, it's, it is. I mean, you sleep way too much. It's a sign of depression. No, she just she's bleeding from her eyes. Okay. That's Maybe depressing. A little bit, yeah. What do you guys want to do about it? Stars in a depression. Oh my god, you're yeah. right. Oh no, I'm writing it down. Write it down. <laughs> well, we can. See if one of us can go find this Eyebright stuff and get it back, you know, go into the market or whatever. Just take your fake watch. <laughs> yeah. Did, did you ever realize I wear this sunlight on my wrist? Literally, you talked to me. I'm sorry. He was talking. <laughs> That's amazing. You're telling me you've never noticed my sundial? No. That oh. was savage. <laughs> Said, I guess we should go. Sorry. We can take that for oh, out. No, <laughs> no, I'm leaving so now. Okay. <clears throat> I guess I'm guess you 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 can go get the eye bright or, or or you can. I mean you knew you know what the hell the stuff is, right? Yeah, why do you want me to go get it, Frank? Because you know what the shit is. Yeah. Okay. I, did, I would get cabbage and then come back and be like, this is it, and then I don't know what would happen then. But sure. Yeah, I'll go get it. Into the future. Yeah. Okay. Sure. I'll go get it. You guys have fun with Mateo. Well, I'll I, give him a tickle. Well, do we want two people to go? I mean, it's broad daylight outside right now. 
There's him, and there's Zara asleep in there, so how do we want to make sure we don't get, you know, fucked? And perhaps you could just leave me alone uh, by myself. What did I say? What did I say? I was just proposing an idea. You do not have to take the what? idea. Why did you just say for Where? us to leave you alone? That would be perfect if you do not mind. Kind of... I mean, you make the decisions, do you not, Mister Frank? Can can we? Can so I, he is charmed by Frank no. right now. Can I? I'm gonna... Oh yeah, right now. Yeah, he's yeah, right charmed. now he is. He is okay. He is yes. <laughs> we are good friends. This uh, scaly man. I have a great idea. Yes, Why don't I take Mateo out with me? He also oh, maybe gagged. <laughs> I don't remember. Yeah, I, don't remember. I, I think. Was I, uh, I just put it back in there. Right? Oh. Okay. Yeah, there you go. You, you, you hold on. Canonically. Has been regagged now. I'll just go get it. It will take me. Uh, well, I don't know where it is. Well, it would probably be in the red district because that's where the markets and stuff are. Most of them, anyway. Mm-hmm. I can't think of why it would be specifically in the religious or in Solomon's place or. Wait, am I going to shop? Am I going to go buy it? Why can't I just go pick it? Because. It might not grow in this area. Because we're, 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 we're in a city. It oh, we're in some marsh. Yeah, okay. Okay. I mean, are you, like, nervous about going by yourself to try to find it? Do you want somebody to go with you? No, or? no, no. I just sometimes don't have the best social interactions, so I don't think That's I have any true. money, so... Ah. I can just steal it. It's not a big deal. Uh, uh, let's let's not go that far. We've still got a little bit of money left after our uh, venture here. I don't know. I mean, it's just an herb, right? It shouldn't take that much. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I don't know. How much does an herb cost? Gold? One yeah, gold, like gold. 20 gold, I don't know, just to be 20 safe. 20 gold seems a little steep. Woo! Uh, here, <laughs> and I'll, I'll, hand, I'll hand Tabitha <laughs> 10 and just say, I feel like that should be enough to buy a small plant thing. If it ends up being more, just tell them to put it on hold and sure. we can get the rest. Frank, why don't you just tablet. give me five, just to be sure. Well, um, well, th- th- then there's the case that it could cost um like two, and then you say you've spent the fifteen, I and then I wouldn't get my share back. I don't need money though. I don't usually get things. But you don't have any money. You have an impulse to get money since you don't have any. Yeah, but I'm not gonna spend it. It's for Zara. Should I just go with you? Yeah, I mean, if you want to. Should I just? Um, okay, I'm gonna go with you. Oh, I'll spend it. Give her, give Rorik your money, or Rorik your money. Don't want whatever. <laughs> 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 Love you, love you, guy. Oh, oh, oh. yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Or should you stay here with him because he's, you know, likes you all of a sudden? You could maybe get some really good info from him. Can I have a chat? Just give me five gold. I'm okay, not okay. Spend Jesus it. Christ! <laughs> Work, keep an eye. Keep, uh, he's very reluctant to handing over the money. <laughs> so, uh, okay, fine. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll be back. All right. We'll see you in just a little bit. Just don't. You know, just let her let her sleep. Don't bother. No, yeah, we're gonna leave her alone. Yeah. yeah. Well, also, okay. maybe try to get some whatever you can. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'll figure out what I can do. Okay. I'll see what I can do. Well, do I try to go? I mean, yeah, you could just you like, could do a backflip. You, you could ask your uh, your uh, blacksmith buddy if he knows somebody. Yeah, you have friends in the town. Oh yeah. Okay. Sure. Tell him. Nah, you know you know what to do. <laughs> Wait. What? Tell him what? No, I was just gonna say you could tell him. You know that you're. Your, your husband's been mean, and he's just kind of, <laughs> I need this herb, you know, man? Yeah. And then he'll feel, feel more emotionally inclined to okay. help Yeah, you. tell yeah. him that, yeah. like, there's something wrong with your sister, but you had to sneak away from your husband just because he's such a dick and wouldn't let you go off and buy it, but, but you, you got away from him long enough, but you don't you don't have very long, so, like, where can you get this stuff? Should we write you a script? No, I think I'm okay. Okay, okay, okay. I think I got this. I you remember I'm a, sne- a tricky person, I think. I don't know. Times, I feel really times, flustered times. about this. Okay, and I'm gonna. Sorry, it's the just door. it's just a purchase. I'm running out the it's door. Just a purchase. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the... it's trading money for goods and services. No. Unlocks the front door and heads out the front. <laughs> uh, what was once a bright, shining day has now kind of started to gray over with storm clouds. Oh no! Oh, just like in real life. Yep. <laughs> Look at me go. Just in case. Just in case, lightning comes back. Boom! <laughs> Solving it. But just a slight, a a light drizzle begins. Not anything ridiculous. Tabitha, your leather armor keeps most of it off of you. You can throw your hood up if you'd like. Can anyone see her? It is daytime, and there are people out on the streets and out on working the docks um, on the river. So yes, many people can see you. I put my hood up. Okay. 
I'm do, gonna do a really feminine skip just for a hot second. And I'm sneaking. Where are you sneaking? I don't know. She just wants to stay out of her eyesight. A few okay, days. so you're just trying to stick to back alleys and whatnot? Yeah. Do I remember how to get there? Where you oh, going? God, I don't have a map. To. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Oh, no. To the um, guy. Which guy? <laughs> to the black guy? Oh, shit. The black guy. <laughs> Tabitha, what, Tabitha is, what is his name? Ropeman. Ooh. You want to go find Ropeman? No, I don't. Oh I, wanna, I wanna think can I please roll just to recollect. Yeah, make an intelligence with? check, having run out and the door slammed behind you. Sixteen. Sixteen? Yeah. You very well remember the the lie you told to the half orc gentleman. I believe half orc? Yeah, yeah. he was half orc. Yes. Mm-hmm. How the fuck was I supposed to remember that? That wasn't his name. Brosla? 100% was Brosla. his name. No, it was, it was like Smith Robert. No. no I, remember, I remember thinking bro, bro slut, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody loves a good bro slut. Okay. Brosla's marvelous armor and shield. Here it is. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, Surrounded by, narrow, uh, by a narrow, uh, wait, by <laughs> the narrow no street half-work. outside uh, is watched by a squad <laughs> town guard. Sorry. The shop is a single-story timber frame building with tiled mosaic floor. It has several chimneys, each wow, exhaling smoke lot, and too. fiery peaks. Shopkeeper. The shopkeeper is a short male half orc named Brosla. And it's on the north side. Brosla. So I would like to go to the north side. Which district? The green. We said it. Oh <laughs> my <laughs> god. The red district. The red district. Okay. It was like we said green. which one. Just like the house. Just like the house. <laughs> yeah, the red district. Well, all that. But you're trying to be stealthy. Yeah, but I do with. kind of want her to go in a circle for a minute. Cause she's just got to figure it out. Then she's good. Make a stealth check. <sighs> figure goes without saying, but we lock the door back behind her. 19. Yeah. 19. Also make a performance check. For my skip. 12. Okay. It's a, <laughs> the 12 of a skip is a, a decent skip. And you immediately hit a back alley and start stealthing. <laughs> Moving silently through the streets with your hood up. In the rain, the soft pat of the water hitting the leather as you move. Question. As it bounces off the cobblestones. While I'm in the back alleys, can I just look for any kind of things that might, like thieves can't written anywhere? Make a Okay. Thirteen. Thirteen. You find several things in thieves can't. <gasps> Almost every building has some form of thieves can't on it. Welcome to your town. That's pretty on brand. Um, she just takes a big sigh out. All of them being signs of ownership of the bakers. Oh. Being in the Pearl District. Um, some of them also have, it's kind of sort of, it's sort of like a, a, a much less visible form of graffiti. Almost every building is tagged with their ownership that you've passed, as well as there's some smaller tagging that's near the bottom that other people might not notice that can indicate which houses might be good to steal from which houses are extremely well protected by Solomon. So there are like potential, you find signs that like, oh, this house contains somebody that works with them as opposed to like, they just own this. Can I go in a house that has the sign that it's good to steal from? Potentially. Okay. Are you doing that? Yeah, I kind of just want, you know, day in the life. Just peek in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Sneaking through the back alleys, you find a, what looks to probably have been a smaller manor is now dilapidated, much like the rest of the district around it. But it still seems serviceable as a two-story building, more closer to the internals of the... You're getting farther away from the docks now. The docks is where most of the uh, kind of shantier buildings that have been built after the bridge collapse are being put up, less of the original architecture. You find one of the original architecture homes. You just want to go through the door? Yeah. It's locked. Can I pick it? Sure. Make a make a make a check. There you go. Is that by hand? What is that? That's thieves' tools. But you are proficient in your thieves' tools, so you add your proficiency and your dexterity. I'm Alexander. I rolled a twenty-three. Twenty-three on the thieves' tool. Yeah, you definitely and open the door. It swings open a slight as it opens, but the home seems fairly empty. What do I see? Uh, looking around, I mean, it's it's um, it's like hardwood flooring. It seems very old. Okay. Um, there's a set of stairs. There are several like 
cobwebs out. Doesn't seem necessarily like it's being well maintained. Okay. But there are pieces of furniture and there are um, decor that's out. Can I look through anything with drawers or anything I think might be hiding stuff? Make an investigation check. Okay. Ten. Ten. How long do you want to spend here? I want to spend like a quick look and then I want to sneak upstairs. Oh, this is for the whole house. Oh, um, not okay. a, a crazy long time. So like, what, 30 minutes? Yeah, that seems long. 15. 20 minutes? 15 minutes? Yeah. Okay. And you rolled 10 on investigation? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, a lot of the stuff that you're looking through seems fairly um, beat up. It may have already been picked clean by somebody, and the sign is just an old sign. Okay. But you do come away with about five gold worth oh, of nice. sellable items. How many? Sellable items. It's not gold yet. Oh. Um, you can mark in your inventory f- five, like five gold worth of fencible goods. Okay. They have to be fenced, though. They are stolen goods. And not necessarily anyone will just buy them. Okay. They might. I'm going back on my way. But they also might recognize them. You never know. I'm going back. Okay, so you head back out. Are you re-closing the door or are you just leaving it open? I'll leave it open. Cool. You head out. Where are you going? To the north side. To the red district. To Broslow's house. Broslow's? I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah. She's going to Slowbro. Slowbro's house. Yeah. Um, Okay. Is the is the blush district on the way? Like, will I pass through it? No, so it's kind of like red district, like Epcot, right? It's kind of like Epcot, okay. I guess. Yeah, <laughs> um, actually, I, that's what I'm picturing in my scary. head. Yeah, kind of. Like, am I in Moscow and it's in China, or am I in Moscow and it's in like? So what? the red district is kind of like northwest. <laughs> blush is kind of like northeast, or like far north. The Avon is like east. That's Mexico. Pearl is yeah. south. That's the entrance. Yep. Yeah. The, the golf ball. And then yeah. the Heart District is the center. That's America. Okay, so I island. so I need they to go towards from. Paris, not towards Italy. Got it. We're good. <laughs> Aldernia is Miami. I shall be just trekking. Okay. But it is out of the way, kind of. Excellent. You are making your way to Brussels. Mm-hmm. Frankenrock. Yeah. You're yeah. currently sitting in the wharf with a gagged Mateo. Right, well, would you like to would you like to talk to your good friend? Uh, yeah, yeah, um yeah. Can we talk for a minute? Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Um uh Mateo, can you we're friends, right? <laughs> Just give me a good good old blink if we're friends. That was winks at you. That was a wink. Okay, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. Since that was very ex- not good, I'm gonna put some stuff on his ears. I'm gonna put some stuff on his ears. Okay, what are you putting on his ears? Um, I don't. <laughs> I'm taking off my index fingers. Oh, my <laughs> 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 oh, I'm just shoving them in his ears. Oh my! Ow. Not too far. Not too far. Question. Not just enough for it to. Do they move independently of you? They can, I think. No. Uh, okay. I just question. need I think to know. We've established that they know. can like wiggle. Yeah, yeah. Because we as, as arms, long as we're like staying yeah. in kind of the realm of not breaking rules, sure. I just want to know how terrible this can get for him. Yeah, real, yeah. Uh, real. Just like I want to stick him in there, just a little. Guys, bit. we're such good torture. And it's you your really two pointer are. fingers. My two pointer fingers. <laughs> Actually, it. pinkies in case okay. anything happens to him. I don't want to. Boom! Happen. You use your no. pinkies. Okay. I just kind of and they it. off, and he's like. Oh. Okay, I mean, I just okay. hope he can't. I'm gonna, I want to go in the other room just for for, for safety. Whoa, well, hold, hold on a second. I'm not sorry. I, I, and I turn away from uh, like looking at Mateo, and I'm like, Mateo, uh, blink if you can hear me. And I'm facing the opposite way. Well, he's gonna lie. He doesn't blink until like he blinks eventually. He's gonna lie. Right, I just, just go into the. Just go, let's go into the. the party I don't room. want to leave this guy in a room by himself. He tried busting out last night. Zara had to knock him out. Okay, we can whisper. Let's whisper. Okay, let's go over let's there. Go over let's here. go over to the let's other corner. Here. Yeah, we'll go to the other corner and, and, and we'll look at the motherfucker. We're, we're, we're behind the bar. Yeah. Staring at him from a distance. Yeah, I'm gonna give myself a drink while we're behind the bar. Okay, okay. He's very close to the bar. Well, we'll go to the other side of the room. Let's <laughs> <laughs> okay, go away the fuck over here. Yeah, right yeah. Um, <laughs> You really got enough. And there are no drinks behind the bar. And they were all in the other room. They were all in the back room. Was Zara? Uh, uh, Zara is asleep. Uh, she's she's having a nap. I'm not gonna. Go she's in had there. a drink. Um, uh, and I'm just eyeballing him while we're while we're talking. Um, you keep eyeballing him. Are you looking for anything specific? 
No, I'm just like sort of keeping an eye on him. I'm looking to see if he's like trying to wiggle out of his bonds. Can perception I, check. Okay. Can I, can I um, roll for a deception to see if he's trying to um, make it look like he can't hear us? Insight. Insight. Ooh. Perception 16. Okay. Where are you, baby? Good to know. Nice. There's a, a strike of thunder hits outside. You're like, oh, it must be, this, the rain must be picking up. Oh, yeah, how about that? I believe. 14. Doesn't appear to be listening. Okay. All right. I'm comfy. I, I don't have a plan, Rorik. What, what, you mean, like, at all? <laughs> like, in the grand scheme of things, you don't have a plan? Or like... Well, obviously. But, like, more specifically right now, I don't know what to tell him. All right. Um, well, tell him. Let's see. Tabitha said that she told him. that, And I'm whispering this, but I'm stage whispering. Okay. I'm going sta- to stage whisper, too. <laughs> Great. Full, um, full voice. Great. So, Tabitha said that she told him that she was going to, like, we were going to still take him, but he was going to, like, slip away from us at the last minute, right? Uh-huh. So, we'll just keep on going with that, that we're going to let him escape, but we need to know where the stuff is beforehand, because that's the deal. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And we're, uh, we're not going to let him go, but we'll, f- we'll find out. You, you since you've got him all googly yeah, right yeah. now. Is you maybe you can you know work your magic a little bit and uh, try to try to get some answers out of get him. Get a location out of him. Right, get a location for wherever the hell he's okay. stashed the goods. Okay, before not, we take him anywhere. Not on my A game right now, but I'll I'll see what I can do. All right, well I'll, okay. I'll stay out of your way because he doesn't have googly eyes for me right now. So yeah. I'll just I'll just sort of yeah okay take take a back seat on this one. Okay, I'm I'm, I'm gonna go for it. Okay, any other any other like. Thoughts or anything? Anything else that we need to ask him that I didn't think about? Um, we could ask him more specific. I could ask him more specifics about the Florentines. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's that's all I can think of right now. It works. All, all right. right. Prioritize the loot, and then and then see what else we can get after. Okay. All right. All right. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm going over to him. I go over to him. Um, I take my um, fingers out of his ears. Okay. And I take the um, thing off of his mouth. Uh, uh, yeah, thank you, my friend. Oh, of, co- God. of course, <laughs> of course, my good friend Matteo. Um, hey, we, we are friends, aren't of, we? Of course. Um, I was just wondering. You know, I got. Jeez, uh, I'm just thinking. Where did you hide your jewels? <laughs> <laughs> I know I have two hidden, my friend. What? I know I have two hidden, my friend. Oh my god. You have two hidden? Yes. It's his balls, Frank. Oh, it's a testicle joke. Okay. Um, I was quite serious. Don't don't care about your balls. Um, I care very much about my balls. Oh god, you just keep talking, don't you? (laughs) Um, So, (laughs) I was just... (laughs) This makes me want to play this character. (laughs) No. She's just miserable for everyone. So painful. (laughs) But you um, do it so well. Save that for Adventurers League, all right? Yeah, perfect. <laughs> now, now, I, I was, I was thinking, um, it would be a good idea if we got some assurance of your ability to work with us. Do, do you not trust me, Frank? Um, tr- trust is just a word when it comes to you. Trust is always just a word. But it has no meaning when it comes to you. I do, I do not. What do, words I do have not assign meaning? it to you. I don't have. Do not trust you is my essentially what I'm saying. You do not trust your good friend? I, of course, trust my good friends. And you are mm. one of them. But it's but you, it's a very interesting position we're in. Don't you agree, I my agree. friend? It is a very interesting position. <laughs> of course. Um, so, I was wondering if we could get like a, a half now and then half after kind of deal. I do not have any of it on me. Oh, but I know you don't have anything on you. But like maybe like a... Oh, there's like a um, there's like an emerald and fifty rubies stashed inside of a box underneath the person's um funeral basket in South Philadelphia. You know, <laughs> Frank, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not bad. Really, really, You're really, proficient really, in those. You're a wizard. 15, 16, 17, 18. Somehow, <laughs> as you touch into the eldritch knowledge of another existence of plain <laughs> Philadelphia, <laughs> as the world begins to collapse and in on true. itself inside your own <laughs> mind, you push it away. <laughs> it's almost like you sneezed, 
in your brain for a hot second. <laughs> if you were a video game character, you would have T-posed for a quarter of a second and then come back. Just a glitch. Oh, funny. That <laughs> was weird. Philadelphia. Make it now. Anyway. Frank destroys the world <laughs> by saying Philadelphia. <laughs> Dear God. Do you know of such a, a location of such assurance that one of our party members might be able to retrieve? I do not feel comfortable discussing it in mixed company, Frank. All right, can you do me a, a quick a quick flavor? Oh, for you? Anything. Um, he's a good friend. You should do it here. I, he's my best friend. Like, he's not your best friend because he's my best friend. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> Frank, will you tell him I am your best no, friend? Fight over me. Frank, now. just tell him I'm your best friend. He's my best friend. <laughs> see, that is. He isn't Frank, like, we are best friends. Well, you're a lucky man, Mateo. I am a uh, can, I, can you do me a favor and can you please check the my acoustics thought, Jesus, in the, um, in the um, performance hall? I would, in our I would stage area? gladly check the acoustics. Okay. I think I saw a loot in there. I'll, I'll go oh, I'll go pluck around. Beautiful. You, you kids it. have fun. Thank you. You kids have fun. Thank you, second best friend. Second, <laughs> you, you oh, rascal. The for too long. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I go into the other room. Okay, you do. Is the door within his line of sight? Go far. Okay, cool. I'll actually go in there then. Okay. Can I also keep an eye on Mateo in case he starts his th- tries to like squiggle out of his bonds? Make a perception check. But I also want to tr- do it in a way that he won't notice that I'm doing it. Make a perception check. He trusts good. you very much. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Mm-hmm. You're keeping an eye on it. Um, and is there a loot in there? Hmm? What, were there any instruments in that room or anything? Uh, no, it had been pretty much cleaned out. Okay. You assume probably uh, if a band were to come through, they would be bringing their own things. Just double check. <clears throat> and if there was one in there, they were kicked out. Ah. So just um, <laughs> mixed company is, is, is gone, and we can talk in... Uh, in, in hushed tones, if you like. No, I, just, I prefer the hushed tones. Okay, hushed. Okay, gotcha. You use the hushed. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? I mean, it's a pretty good deal, you know. Um, it, it could be a good deal, my good friend Frank. On the one hand, mm-hmm. it would allow me to maybe survive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That is good. Yes. I like surviving. Yeah. Um, here's the problem, mm-hmm. but I want to just confer with just you, my good friend. Of course, of course. Yeah. I don't have those things. Mm-hmm. They're not real. I fucking um, knew it. Uh, but I do, I, don't be sad, It's fine. okay. It's okay. You know, because it's, it's all right. I, I did not fully lie. Yeah. I have, uh, have very powerful contacts. In oh, Ordenia. No. I, I, I believe you. If I you want, you. You, could, you could, we could move there and we could live comfortably for the rest of our lives. I wouldn't mind that. That'd be, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We could move out of the main city, beachfront property. Uh, you do love the beach. Spend the rest of the time. <laughs> you do love... <laughs> <laughs> Frank, to the beach. Frank is, is having flashbacks to the time where he um, spent ye- un- an unknown amount of years wandering the bottom of the sea, trying to get out of the water, and um, he is not very fond of living in a beach house. But I need I- you to make, I need you to make a. Uh, are you trying to Are you trying to make it known that you are not fond of no, that? Or no, you- I don't want it to be known. Okay, and I need you to make a just make a uh, make a wisdom save as seven. well. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven wisdom save. Seven wisdom save. Um, it's a little bit more apparent, even with your mixed lack of facial expressions. Yeah, it's just kind of like ah, the beach. Of course, the beach. We, we do. We don't have to go to the beach. Uh, the That'd city. Be yeah. It is a beautiful city. We could. Uh, there, there's a city in the desert well, that we could go to. This is a very beautiful city as well. Of course. And anything for you. Well, fight. you understand. I have to. I have to, of course, sort this business out with my compadres and no, but, everything. You know, because. But yeah. please understand, your compatriots will very mean to your best friend. I know. But uh, my thighs hurt immensely, mm-hmm. and well, my head hurts a lot too. Well, I'll, I'll give Tabitha a good talk. Our talk. Also, my lower back, mm-hmm. my, my my lower spine. Well, it's, it's just very. I'm tired of sitting I, in the chair. Yes, Do you I, think I could walk around? Uh, and, uh, Move a bit, my well, very good friend Frank. Just um, let me 
let me talk to my com- compatriots because okay, we, but we, we do, do your run, best we to do, convince them, right? Yeah, I will. We do we do run a more democratic kind of thing. So. But you're the leader, of, of course. I yeah. know your your intelligence <laughs> is no way as anyone else could okay. do it. All right, let me let me just check the acoustics in the other room right quick because I'm thinking about starting the band. I'll be right back. Can they be part of your band? Um, let me Excellent again, again yeah. compatriots. I'll talk to them really quick. First. Uh, all right. Yeah, because like, you know, I understand. <laughs> you seem like a bass kind of guy. I think Rorik wants to play the bass. So we'll, we'll we'll talk. I'm gonna go into the next room, and then Frank just like his face. If he had skin, it would just like <laughs> fall. <laughs> like, like the most like oh fucking hell what a <laughs> oh man. So I go out to the um, room with Rorik. Okay. How are the acoustics? Uh, they're good. They're good. How's he doing? Um, he, he, remember when he he told, told us things about jewels and stuff? Uh huh. Also, wait. Is the door open right now? No. You hear the sound of a wooden chair breaking. Hold up. Go 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 go. I run in the next room. I run. I run. Okay. I run. As you as you turn the corner, you see Mateo tied up. The chair is broken. Mm-hmm. Um, and he is at the locked door with his hands tied, <laughs> trying to unlock it desperately. Mateo! Oh, buddy. Oh, no, 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 buddy. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. He's still trying to so I, unlock I grab it. him and I take him softly. Make an athletics check with helping. advantage because of Rourke's help. <laughs> Three and then a four. Oh, my God. Um, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Well, with his natural two, <laughs> you both very quickly tackle him to the ground. Come, come on. No, softly. Oh. If I can softly, you well with friends still. He's. Yeah. Oh, are you okay? I didn't mean to, to hurt you and bring you down like that. Don't attack him. Okay, it's... gotcha. Um, I'm just gonna tie you to another chair right quick. Is that all right? Oh, please do not tie me to the right, chair, we, Frank. We, they want to hurt okay. me. Well, I'll just tie you to the table then. No, they don't want to hurt me, Frank. We can tie him to a bed. You don't want him to hurt me, do you, Frank? Look, just one second, and I put the <laughs> I put the um the thing around his mouth again. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You just sometimes it's you know. No, 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 you understand. Your voice is just hard. Okay, good, good. good. Um, let's just tie you to this table, and I try to tie, like, like lay him down like a fish that's about to be gutted, and I like just kind of tie him to the table. What imagery? You tie him to the table. Okay, real tight. Tabitha. Yep. You are making your way downtown. downtown. Um, you make your way into the red district. You. Ahead through the one of the larger portcullises that divide the different divisions of the city, there you see two different sets of guards. Uh, on the pearls side of the guard, you see two members wearing blue sashes. You know these as bakers, Solomon's men or women. Yeah, yeah. On the other side of the portcullis, you see two people wearing red armor. You know this is the Florentines people um, that you saw when you first entered the city. Can I go? Chat with the bakers really quick. Yeah. You just walk up to one of them. Mm-hmm. What do they look like? You know the show Peaky Blinders? Yep. It looks like Arthur Shelby. Okay. Looks like Arthur Shelby. He's got a handlebar, kind of an undercut. Yeah. Kind of a tall, lanky fellow. Yeah. Not very muscular, but... And then the other wearing one... Wearing baggy, baggier clothes. Looks like Josh Gap. Well, they're farther away from <laughs> each other. Oh, never mind. So it's kind of one. But the other one looks like Josh Gad. He looks like Josh Gad. Oh my god. And then he looks like he'd be great in musicals. Yeah, mm. for real. I walk up and I say, hey. I, well, it was, so, well, what, what's up? That's fucking Solomon. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> um, fucking. Right, well, I could just stay yeah. there. Draw a, right, okay. I need you to relay a message for me. And I'm kind of trying Who to. Who the be, hell are you? Are you going to talk? I'm friends with Solomon. That's all you need to know. Oh, right. What do you need me to tell him? I need him to send some guys to go check out the Vicinti house. Why why would he do that? Because I need him to go look and see if there are any any hidden things laying about. Make a persuasion check. Oh. She got flustered because he was so damn hot. (laughs) A what? Persuasion? Yep. Fifteen. Okay. I'll tell him I do it. Tell him if he still wants the deed, he'll go check out the house. He'll know what I mean. Sure, I'll let him know. He cool. doesn't leave. Cool. He's cool. still on cool. duty. And then she kind of goes away. Okay. So you just head through the four calls into the red district. The Florentine men. And women. 
and women. What are what's their sitch? Like, do they look intimidating, or they're just like hanging out? Kind of like they're on a job. It's kind of like if you see a police officer. Yeah. Okay. Like right. Like it's not rolling. necessarily like I'm intimidated. I'm not like finding people to punch. It's just like more like I'm here, and I'm looking for things. Would she know that it's like a manhunt for Mateo? Uh, you can infer that. Like, has she seen any kind of, like, postings? Like, no. Okay, so it's not like if you see this man tournament. There has been, uh, from, make, make a, uh, make an inside check. Ten. Ten? That's fine, that's enough. You get the idea that, especially the way Solomon talks about it, this is probably being dealt with inside the families, mm-hmm. right? Like, okay. it's not something that you would drag into the street, okay. especially to, like, be like, hey, a bunch of my family got killed. Got it. Right? Yep. Here's the one that did it. Yep. It's more like, mm, I'll just deal with it and not publicize it. Okay. Discreet. Okay. Correct. She's just going to keep on going. Okay. You cut your way through the town, uh, this section of the town, just kind of like cut, sticking to back alleys and continuing to move. And very soon you arrive at Brosla's marvelous armors and shields. Okay, you can do this. Okay. And I'm just going to open the door. You open the door. You can see Brosel there working on something. I'm going to put a disclaimer out right now. I don't remember what voice I did for Brosel. Well, either. Sexual. Okay. Sexual. Or, uh, no, that was God. for <coughs> Tabby. Right? Roy. Do what? For what character are you talking about? Brosel. What what Brosel. What, what Brosel. No, that's all good. I'll do something. It probably was like orc voice. It's probably my orc voice. Yeah. Right, it's fine. Hi. Ooh. It's Good to see you. Oh, how, how, how are you? How are you doing? He like puts down what he's doing and like moves over and is like, are you are you okay? Yeah, just, you know, I've had a time, but I just I was able. My sister, and she's trying to remember what Rourke said. Help me slip away for a second because I've been. Where, where are you? Where are you staying? In the water. <laughs> Make a deception check. <laughs> a sleep oh, no. no. 12. Okay. Sorry. What? My, he hit me in the head a few days ago and everything is... But I'm, there's not a bruise. I'm in the Pearl District, oh. right? Uh-oh. You're staying in the Pearl... Why are you staying in the Pearl District? That's all we could afford. He said that if we lived a luxurious life that... We would be greedy and not humble. I'm so sorry. It's all right. It's okay. I listen. I I tried to be respectful, but I I talked to some of the guards to be on the lookout for him, just just in case. I hope it she puts his, her helps. hand on his arm. You're you, so kind. You know, if you need, you, you can stay here. I have m- more room. He's married. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> with, ki- with a kid, with right? With a kid, okay. <laughs> she gets it a check. No, I don't want to trouble you. <laughs> there wouldn't be any trouble at all. I actually... There's need... a spare room. I need a, a great deal of help. Oh, my well, God. How, how could I possibly help you? Well, you see, please don't tell anyone. But my husband, he does magic still. And... He did something really awful. The bastard. <laughs> he did something really I'll awful. I'll tell the guard. <laughs> to my sister. What did he do to your sister? He did oh, something. Oh, matey. Oh, <laughs> he did Damn something tired. magical, and then she started bleeding from her eyes, and the only <laughs> thing I could think to help was get a, a special herb called... <laughs> sp- right. Yeah, yeah, you're oh, right. Okay, okay. Nice job. My head is Woo! so fuzzy. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> he's gonna make a check. Is it in your <laughs> that was natural too. Yo, oh, damn it. I, I, have, I have no idea. What, uh, do you know what, what he did? Or? I don't know. He just looked at her with. Is her brain head. bleeding? No, it's some kind of thing. He dragged us through the sewers because he wanted us to learn. To be humble, and I guess she, <laughs> she got something in the sewers. Monster! <laughs> it's been I, I'm awful. sorry, I can't let you go back to him. <laughs> oh, it's I, it's just the abusive way. I'll never learn. Oh, God! No! Oh, no! I refuse! 
study say it to know. No, <laughs> God. Taking a turn. I know. No, I have to go back for my sister, but I really need to find this herb. Do you know where I could find anybody that sells anything? Oh. Uh, make another check. <laughs> that was cocked. That was an three. Oh. Uh, Rosla. Uh, I might have Come on. Rose. Um. Hmm. Let's see. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I'm. Not, I'm. Don't even know. I don't even know what eyebright is. I work in metals. Oh, I did. Can you help me with something? Maybe I found uh, anything. Okay. Um. So I thought maybe because you said the Florentines had such high power, I could maybe go talk to them about it. Do you know how I could maybe get in there? Good, good graces, because I'm just so humble and poor. Oh. <laughs> I just have to, like, take a pause for a hot oh. second. Oh, yeah. my God. Just to, uh. All right. Oh, God. Oh, what did I do? It's great. It's just so funny. <laughs> it's just so funny. It's so sad. Come on. Um, like I said earlier, you can, most of the time, you can just go talk to them. That they, they try and let people in. Is, is they just keep people under guard. Okay, I'll, I'll try that. I've, I've talked to them before about getting more protection for my business when it was uh, robbed one time. <gasps> who robbed you? I, I don't know. <laughs> oh, if I find out who... I'll don't, be... don't concern yourself with me. <laughs> oh, okay. Now let's talk about your husband. Okay. Where is he? Oh, my well, God. I don't know. You see, because the night he hit me, he took off with some woman, and he said that he was going to go try to find some a better life. Make a deception okay. check. Oh, I don't know. She's got really close. With advantage from your natural 20 when you first did this. Oh, okay. okay. 21. 21. Oh, jeez. Her deception is, hey. Fuck. What? Now's the time to run. I know, but I can't leave my sister. Well, let's go get her. Well, I have to go get the... You know, I... Skybright. But you might need help. I'll go with you. Oh, oh, what about your wife and, and your child? They're fine. Oh, okay. You're not leaving the city, are you? Well, my husband just said only whores travel with other men that they're not married to. Because he doesn't want you protected. Oh, well, all right. <laughs> I... I... <laughs> um... Do you, oh, can I ask you another question? Absolutely. Do you love your wife a lot? Ah, no. I love my wife dearly. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> um, can I ask you a third question? I just think to myself, if, if you were my child, would I want this for you? Oh, oh no. Okay. Oh, God. Um, oh, God. I found this. Can I make, can you make it into something maybe? And I show him what I found. <laughs> what did you find? You're fine. Oh, my gold. Oh, oh you stolen stuff. goods. Sorry. Yeah, I thought friend. you were just like, here's a thing. Shell. Here's <laughs> thing. And I was like, I love it. here's my, my thieves stuff. Well, those seem like, uh, it's just like a, it's like vases and thing stuff, of right? Oh. It's thingamabobs. Thingamabobs. <laughs> uh, thingamabobs. You could maybe sell them at the cracked barrel. I'm... Do you think they might have sky bright? Oh, my God. I'm just so dumb and wily. I don't know do what's mean, going do, on. Do you mean Eyebright? Yes. Oh, well. Uh, like I but said. But don't, you're not dumb. I'm just such a fucking idiot. <laughs> 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 what would I know about med- <laughs> medicinal things? We're, we're like, we're on the verge of you would need a charm person spell to make this work. Oh my God. I need you to make another check. <laughs> At disadvantage. Oh my god. I'm just such a fucking idiot. <laughs> For that. Oh my oh god. Gosh. Oh my oh. god. Thirteen? Thirteen? Okay. I'm Jesus. Such a... okay. Oh my <laughs> gosh. They, they don't cry. Don't cry. They might have it though. They might. My sister just has a lot of issues. Well, we need to let's She's go help cute. her. Okay. But let's let's go. And he okay. starts like shutting down the the. Are forge. you sure? Because I'm. Really I'm a hundred percent sure. I'm, really, I'm coming down. I can. Okay. No, you need help, and I'm gonna do my duty. Okay. 
Uh, as he like slowly starts like cooling the 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 smithy. Do you do you need to to say goodbye to your wife? Or no, they're not in the house right now. It's fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> do you know which direction it's at? The place that we need to go. The cracked barrel. Yeah, uh, it's a couple of blocks that way. That way. Yeah. And... To the okay. Yeah, Sorry. it's over there in that in a non-specific direction. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And he, like, <laughs> gets his stuff and starts walking to the door with you. Wait! <laughs> she just blocks the door. Okay. With her um, body? I think I have to be honest Hello with you. Shit. <laughs> yeah. I think I have to be honest oh, with no. you. Have you not been? I have, but I've lied about one thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is that? What, what is that I one thing? Can't. Well, I came to you for help because I think... I might have feelings for you. <laughs> and I don't want to get in the way of your beautiful, beautiful, humble, not greedy marriage. It is all of those things. So maybe it's best if I just go by myself. I am just an ignorant woman. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I have none of those feelings for you. Oh, So good. I feel very safe traveling with you. I mean, I am very beautiful. <laughs> I, d- I didn't say you weren't beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> but a strong I reaction. Mean, it might help because I don't want to get swindled, but I just wanted you to know if you don't want to come with me anymore, I I understand everybody leaves oh, no. me at some point. Oh my, oh my god. god! I won't. <laughs> oh, he's so, so beautiful. I was, go- no, that, I was I about know. to walk away and you know, said that. <laughs> okay. He like lifts the hammer up on his shoulder and he's like, we're going to go help your sister. Okay, are you coming back with me to where where we've gone? I assume to help your sister. Okay. (laughs) The quest begins. Well, (laughs) okay, just can I ask a favor? Another? Yeah, I'm just a needy woman. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Three hours later. (laughs) She's a very skittish person, so when we get up there, can you just let me go first and give her a fair warning and wait patiently a few blocks away? I understand. Okay. I can do that. Let's go get some eye... Sky bright. Eye bright. All right. (laughs) And you guys... Leave as he locks the door. Oh, no. oh He great. begins following you to the cracked barrel. Oh, my God. She's trying to, like... A strike of thunder. <laughs> as the rain begins to pick up, tent. and oh. Brosla lifts his hood. While they're walking, she's trying to do, like... Perhaps the last time you will ever do so. girly okay. walk that's also very humble. Make a performance check. <laughs> humble girly for, for humble walk. Girly walk. <laughs> She's so humble and so girly. She's a girly fumble. Thirteen? Needy okay. woman. You do. Hey there, everybody. Jonah here to say thank you for listening to The Quest Company. This week's episode is brought to you by our marvelous sponsor, Castor and Pollux, makers of mystical jewelry and geeky novelties. Quest Company listeners can go to castpollux.com and get 15% off your entire order of dice, jewelry, and other nerdy accessories by using the code THEQUESTCO. That is a great deal, and it's even better because every order that uses our code gets us closer to being able to do our next giveaway. So, go find something you love, and if you order a set of dice or a cool piece of jewelry from Castor and Pollux, send us a picture and we'll feature you on our Instagram and Twitter. If you're a fan of the Quest Company, you laugh at our dumb jokes and enjoy listening to our various shenanigans, please head over to our show page on the Apple Podcasts app or wherever you listen to your podcasts and leave us a rating and review. It is incredibly easy. It'll only take you a minute. And that small act of kindness from you is a huge, huge help to us as we continue to spread the word about the show and get new people listening. Uh, Seriously, you can pause the episode right now, tell us your thoughts, and then hop right back in. We really do read every review that comes in, and we get all excited to see new ones. And if you leave us a review, we'll give you a shout-out here on the podcast. 
Earlier this week, we dropped the first episode of Portents. And I think I am legally obligated to say it that way now, so just get used to it. If you haven't listened to that yet, we would love for you to check it out. It is a five-part side quest set in Terry Pratchett's Discworld universe, and it was our first time playing Dungeon World. The first episode, Grunge is Dead, is literally the episode right under this one in the feed. So, super easy to check out. We'll be releasing those bi-weekly every other Monday, and we hope you enjoy it. I'd like to take a moment to thank Mr. Joseph Cash for the wonderful music he composes for the Quest Company and Tabletop Audio for providing the ambient sounds you hear on the show. If you want to listen to more of Joe's music, you can hear all the songs from the podcast on SoundCloud.com slash The Quest Company, and you can listen to more of Joe's personal work at SoundCloud.com slash Joseph John Cash. And if you need atmosphere to set the mood for your next tabletop gaming session, go on over to TabletopAudio.com. If you'd like to contact us, you can do so directly through our Connect page on questcompanypodcast.com, or you can find us on Twitter, Instagram, etc., at The Quest Company. We love talking with y'all and hearing your thoughts about the show, and we love getting to know the other great people in the RPG podcast community. People like Matthew Gravelin, host of The Hard Move, a Powered by the Apocalypse discussion podcast. I was a guest on this week's episode of The Hard Move, talking about Uncharted Worlds, and I would love for you to give that a listen. Matthew is a wonderful host, and I had a great time chatting with him about sexy space crab claws and accidental black holes, amongst other things. You can find The Hard Move on iTunes, Google Play, and Spotify, and you can follow Matthew on Twitter, at Mr. Matthew, and The Hard Move, at The Hard Move. Also, if you listen through to the end of this episode, you'll hear a promo for our friends, the Roaring Trainers. We'll be putting promos for all of our podcast friends in a weekly rotation, and if you aren't part of that rotation yet, shoot us a message and we'll get you in there. We are all about doing cross-promotion with our friends and helping our listeners find more great stories to listen to. That's all for me, so let's get back to the gang. Thank you for listening to The Quest Company. Doubts, insecurities, and what she's shopping for, she doesn't know. Oh no, she doesn't. Freaking roar! I think that I couldn't do it. I needed a. Script. You guys have just tied Mateo <laughs> to one of the wooden tables. There are little fish fillets on my insecure, huh? Oh, <laughs> yep. Okay. Um, uh, wow. Jesus Christ! Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick my <laughs> his his arms are. Uh, like are away from his yeah. body, like he's all splayed out where nothing can reach other things. It's like the TV show Dexter, but with ropes. Oh, yeah, I love Dexter. Make an insight check, both of you. Uh, oh, damn it, he's gonna like he's it. He's gonna like it. I, you, son of a bitch, that's a 20. He's into ah. it. I got like above a 20. He's into it. Jesus. King, I just, I just stick oh. my pinkies I mean, in his ears. Again. Listen, he's splayed out on his back. He's into it. Oh, damn it. I'm, I stick Baggy my, pants. I th- remove my pinkies and I stick them in his ears. Not viciously, like I just did. <laughs> in the flesh <laughs> in the flesh space. Just like, not in the flesh, but just like putting them in there. Okay. Yeah, you're putting it in there. So I go up, I go up uh, close to his face and I say, please don't move. <laughs> my good friend, Mateo. Hey, g- give him a kiss to make sure you mean it. Oh, God. <laughs> Stay here, Mateo, okay? I can see you like it. All right. I assume it's this table closest to the door. Sure. <laughs> All right. I go, I take Rorik over to the corner. Great. I say, Rorik. Yeah, so what were you saying before uh, that? Remember, remember, he, remember, 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 remember he promised jewels and gold and troves of treasure? Yeah. He was lying. Son of a bitch. He told me he was lying to us. He was lying to us. Okay. I don't like it when I get lied to. I know you don't. I don't like it. All but right. on the bright side, now we don't have to bother with that whole fucking rabbit hole anymore. That's true. That's true. And so like it's, it's, it's better that we find out now rather than going to wherever the hell he was going to tell us to go on a fucking wild goose chase. So thank God I charmed him. That fucking worked. Right. Surprise, you know. Okay. 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 But we still have him as a leverage piece for the Florentines so we can get from them what we want. Correct. Correct. As long as we can get through that. Okay. okay. Do we need him for anything else right now, or can we just, like, leave him on the table? Right now we're going to leave him on the table, gagged and 
I don't I don't know if you care to leave your fingers in his ears, but hey, can, wait, 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 hold on, look. Can you, can like you wiggle him? He's, he's not, w- wiggle the ears in there. See if it makes him uncomfy. He, he's too, hmm? See if it makes him uncomfy when you w- when you wiggle your fingers. Oh, we, I'll wiggle my oh, fingers wiggle, a little wiggle, bit. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. wiggle him just a little bit. He's just here like, oh. Oh, God. I run. I run over and I take <laughs> my fingers out. Never do that again. Oh. Never do that again. I put them back on my, my fingers That's and I'm just like, oh, is there a sink around here okay. that uh, kind of maybe doesn't exist? A sink? A sink, so I'm never doing say that. A wash basin? Yeah. No. A wash basin to wash my hands in. Another strike of thunder, perhaps the one that Tabitha heard since time is split. <laughs> oh. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm just going to try to find like some rags or something to like stuff around his ears then, because I still don't want him to hear what we're saying, because fuck him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, me neither. Uh, you can find one rag that Harv was using the night prior to clean. Rip it, piece, Harv. Mugs. Mm-hmm. Oh. Um. It's easily it's big enough to be torn in half or great. whatever configuration you want to do with that. All right, great. Well, I'm gonna put it over his ear holes so he can't hear us. Thank you, Rourke. All right. So once Tabitha gets back, we can do whatever the hell we need to do with with this whole herb business. And if she doesn't find whatever the thing is, which is a possibility, yeah. Uh, if Zara's you know, out for the day. When she wakes up, she will, in theory, be able to cast the thing that she needs. So, either way, by this evening, we should be good. Yeah. Well, I, I would suggest not telling Tabs about him lying to us about the lack of stuff, because she might feel an impulse to kill the man. Yeah, let's not worry about that until after he's out of our hands and we are yeah. away. He's out of our hands! We'll Put that thing back where it came from. So help me. So help me. So help me. And cut. And we'll just see her when, yeah, yeah, we'll when she gets back. Yeah, yeah. We'll see her when she gets back. Yeah. Right there, Andrew. Sorry, that was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. So we'll we'll just kind of wait and hang out and we'll see what happens. But uh, I mean, there's no taking him anywhere during the broad daylight. So we just gotta, you know. Wait yeah. until Tabitha gets back or Zara can cure herself for me and her to go to Florentine. Yeah. So we're going to play cards? Sure, let's play cards. Let's, let's gamble a little bit. A little right. bit of money. Work. Mm-hmm. Works for me. Ah, right. oh, fuck. I gave that gypsy lady my cards. Oh, shit. Aww. Fuck, I don't have anything. I have a... I don't have anything in my inventory that would get gambled. Guess a game of the imagination as another fun. Or sharing between two friends. Your backstory, your past, your woes, your wants, your dreams, your hopes, your desires. You want to play rock, paper, scissors? Yeah, that'll work. (laughs) (laughs) We gamble over rock, paper, scissors. Play rock, paper, scissors. Okay. Are we going on shoot? Yes, rock, paper, scissors. Shoot, and then we do it. All right. Okay. Well, how much? Oh, how much shoot, are we putting? On, on, how much are we putting on this? A, 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 a gold, one gold. A gold for each individual one, or a gold for two out of three? Gold for two for. Hold up. Pause. Whoa. Pause. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, you're doing it once, which will determine the outcome of over a series of time. I'm assuming. Okay. Right. No, we're gonna do time, all right? of the rock paper scissors. Yeah. No. Also, no, we're not. <laughs> We're not having a rock, paper, scissors turn. Okay, tell you what, for, for, for the whole, for, we'll do this for a little while, and I'll put down like three gold okay. over the course of time that we do it. I'll put down three yeah. as well. Cool. Now play one thing of rock, paper, scissors. One thing, it all depends on one thing? <laughs> yep, okay. it all, all depends Woo! on one thing. Ready? Make money. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot! shoot. Oh! Yes! Oh! Snippity dip. Frankie lose three, Rook again. No! Oh, that's it's like right. being stabbed in the neck. It's like being stabbed in the neck. Experience. I'm pretty uh, sure that on our adventures I've been stabbed in the neck, and I'll tell you, it's not that. Yeah, that kind of is. <laughs> For me. So, over the next, how long you say you guys are doing that to keep entertained? Gosh, I think that's like 20 minutes max. Max. <laughs> cool. I think it's the same three gold that like swaps hands a few times, and that's just oh, yeah. what we end up with. Uh, 15 minutes pass yeah. of that 20 minutes, and you just hear like a, oh, as Frank, you feel the spell come to a conclusion. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and that's over. Um, and that's over. Oh, he knows what he did. Yeah. Tabitha, you make your way to the cracked barrel. He's just following Brosla. Yeah. So he's heading there. Okay, you very quickly, you having not been here before. 
Note the wonderful different colored rocking chairs out front. Yes. Everything magical. Does it smell like maple syrup? <laughs> Certainly. It smells it smells like maple syrup old people. Mm. Like happy old people. Mm. Like a nice like, like, mm, like lotion. Yeah. Crack barrel too. <laughs> it's a great place. But he leads you inside where you run into for your first time the person in charge, Hildo. Hildo. Hey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just, I need to know if you saw Eyebright. Why do you need Eyebright? My sister. Can I, do you have it? <laughs> <laughs> um, let me check. Okay, like, quickly. Waddles <laughs> off into the back. At a pace. Okay. Seems to be chill. <laughs> so, um, Rosa, do you, how long have you been here? In the city? Yes. My whole life. Oh, so did you grow up with the, you know, the all families? Well, I was here when uh, they weren't really that big a deal. Oh, that's nice. When the magic people were in charge. Yeah, so quick, I'm, I'm just wondering about the magic, because, you know, it has such a haunting PTSD situation on me. Me too. Um, Did any of the family... Partake in magic? Any, no. Anybody of the families? No. We're all pretty much determined to overthrow it. The only family that would have any connection it wouldn't be magic, it would be religious, and that would be the family that was in charge of the Avon district when I can't remember their last name really fast, but I got it. It's going to be like two seconds. Sarah's uh, on it. The Adranti. Oh, okay. The, the Adranti family. Uh, I was so they close. work in the, uh, the chapels. The God chapel. And do the families, are they pretty, like, you and your wife? I don't even know her name. I'm so awful and womanly. <laughs> <laughs> What's her name? Elizabeth. Oh, that's nice. So, do they like she's, each other? She's very nice. Like, you to- you two, or were they pretty much, like... The, the families? Yeah, did they all kind of, like, sleep around with other people? Like, like I said, they weren't really any big deal. Some of them had influence, some of them didn't. Uh, like the Adranti, they were in charge of the, a lot of the churches. Gotcha. So they had a moniker of influence, but it was overshadowed in large by gotcha. the wizards and sorcerers. Did you know Mateo growing up? Did you ever interact with him? No. no. I just worry about that poor boy and whoever... Poor boy, that kid's a shit. Really? Absolutely. How, how do you mean? You haven't been to the Blush District, I'm assuming. No, have I? No, no, yeah. no. He was raised in that district. He's pretty much like all the worst parts of it. Hmm. And what would you, you know, just like, what don't they like? Like, what's something that would really irk them, make them really uncomfortable and want to, like, kill themselves? Wow. <laughs> what? what? Just like, you know, how things just make you, like, it's awful. To the point where you you just hate it so much you just have to fly out of existence. Who? <laughs> Who who's dying? I'm confused. No, but you know, I just you know, everybody has something they don't like. Like yeah, I don't who like Who is being, everybody? Just people. Like I don't like being beaten. But you know, <laughs> did Mateo have anything that he just didn't like? Not that I know of. Oh, or his family or that district or Nope. No. I don't know. Mm. So what was... I'm just a blacksmith that cares a lot about women. <laughs> and what, was, what was the district like? Is it just like... No, oh, it's like debauchery. <laughs> you would go there if you wanted to spend money on debauchery. <laughs> it would be there. That district would be a district you could spend lots of money on debauchery. <laughs> Never. I bet that's where my husband went. <laughs> With his new woman. Probably. Sounds like the asshole that would be there. Mm-hmm. It's just so awful. Wait, do you think he's actually in that district? Because I could go. <laughs> if you, if you want to go look for him right now, I can wait for the, the Hildy, Hilda. Here, here take, take this. And he, like, hands you, like, just a normal dagger. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you run into him again... I will make sure if I ever run into the man that I was with, Just with you, I will stab him. Right in the heart. Right in the heart. Okay. Right in the heart. I'm going to go look in the blush district. 
Okay. We'll figure it out. Wait, can I give you something as you part? I don't need to take anything Please. from you, especially you having told me what you did. Take this five gold as a token <laughs> oh. <laughs> of my gratitude. I couldn't, I couldn't possibly. Please. I couldn't possibly. Oh, please. I couldn't possibly, especially with what you told me. Okay. If I were to accept this, I would feel guilty. All right. And he walks out the can door. Can I kiss his little hand? You can try, but he's not going to let it. Okay, I won't try. She'll let him leave. He walks out the door, a real hero. Woo! Oh, fuck. Oh Hope right. he doesn't die. <laughs> Jeez. <gasps> can you hurry? Hello? Service? Service? Oh my God. <laughs> Hello? Uh, Waiting? Uh, help. Hello. <laughs> Sorry, we know the two of Yeah, right? That's the real life. Hi, can I get that now, please? I uh, right? No, so I look. Quick. You seem like you were having an important conversation. I didn't want to interrupt you. Yeah. Don't have it. I carry more like jams okay. and Do you know cornmeal that would carry and it? knickknacks. Okay. But, like, I, 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 hear the, uh, I hear the bakers use it a lot. Because they're always, you know, in the sewers. Son of a bitch. Okay. Um, cool. Thanks. Great. You uh, can. Yep. Shim- do you need anything else? What? What, do, what kind of knickknacks? I, take a look around. Okay, I'll look and see what he has. Make an investigation check. Scissors again. Sixteen. <laughs> Sixteen. Maybe you'll find a clearance section. You never know. The clearance. She finds the little weasel rolling around on the <gasps> ball. No, if she's, she's going to get anything, she's, she's going to get, gonna get the hair thing for Zara that scratches your head. Oh my I god, love I love you. You're so good to me. Yeah. <laughs> it's just there. She don't know. <laughs> Hopefully you'll have enough money to save her life. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you know three things okay. of interest that, that, that call to you. Okay. One, mm-hmm. thunder strikes <laughs> outside. <laughs> One. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, it appears to be a skinned ferret. Yes. Attached to a ball that seems to perpetually, through some magical influence, perpetually be in motion. <laughs> I love yeah. the world. I love the world. You have. Um, it's in like a little box. It kind of looks shitty. It keeps like getting stuck in a corner. Yeah. But then eventually it'll roll itself out of the corner and it okay. goes for a little bit until it finds another corner. Okay. You find a small little stick. But it's like about three inches long, little rod, and above it, it just says fishing rod. <laughs> you find um, weird ass knickknack. What appears to be a really, really pretty quill, like um, just a very pretty white quill. Hmm. How much is the quill? Uh, that that's twenty five gold. I have this, and I show them all the stuff I stole. Oh, what about I give you this for that? That looks like James's pot. Yeah. He, you know what? We had to call it quits. And I just, I had to take our, what I. You were dating James? Yeah. For 20 years. (laughs) He's been gone for so long, though. Yeah, I know. That doesn't make much sense. Yeah. We have a long distance. I'm having trouble wrapping my head around this. It was a long distance thing, so it just Mm -hmm. got too hard and I just couldn't, you know. Why? Did you guys use magic for long distance? No, just hopeful thinking. Oh, that's not gonna that's not gonna cut it. Yeah. It's pretty rough. <laughs> yeah. I miss him so much. <laughs> yeah, but that's also like maybe five gold. Do you have like twenty more gold? No, don't worry, don't worry about it. Okay. So I'll just thank you very much. Okay. If you yeah, have a... If you run into that guy Johnny, you can tell him he can play here as many times as he wants. Play what? I don't know. It's this musician called Johnny. Oh. Like, he played one night and it was really good. So, like, if you see him playing somewhere else, what you can be play? like, hey, he just played this, like, loop thing. It was, it was good. It really touched the, like, my, if I had criminal roots, it would have touched those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, have a nice day. Thanks for shopping at the Cracked Barrel. Oh, God. Do you want a free biscuit? Sure. Actually, There's complimentary biscuits. Yes, and do you have that. jam or anything? Like I butter? have preserves. Yeah, I'll take those. Okay, that's like a gold for a jar. Mm. What flavor do you want? Okay, just the biscuits, good. Just biscuits. Okay. <laughs> Bye. You guys have a biscuit. I know. And I'll head to the bakery.
Okay. You begin making your way to the bakery. Yes. Um, traveling back through the Red District. The rain begins pouring as you make your way into the Pearl District. Uh, cutting back, are you trying to stealth or are you just like moving through? I'm just trying to go quick because I'm getting kind of worried about how long I've been gone in okay. Zara. You begin moving kind of faster. No one seems to be paying you much attention. The person with a hood up here seems fairly on par. You should make your way over to the bakery. As you pass back through the uh, the gate, you do know the same guard is still there. Hey, don't worry about it. I'll just tell myself. Hurrah! It just gives you like an affirmation as you keep going. Um, but you make your way through the, the back streets and you arrive at the familiar side of the bakery. I knock. Okay. One knock. of the Where's guards one of the guards comes down and is like what what you doing here? Hey, is Solomon here? He's pretty much always here. Okay, can I talk to him? Hold on. And the guy goes in to the, the building. He was there for maybe like ten minutes. Then opens the door back up and is like, Oh, you can follow me. Okay. And he turns around and starts heading in. You re-enter the room where you first met Solomon, the main area of the bakery. He is again behind the counter in his apron. You see that there is uh, two people in the room besides the person leading you in. It's not all the guards like you saw before, but there are two guards directly in front of the counter, and he's talking to them as you enter. Mm. And he's like, all right, mate. So you said this one stole from you, right? So what we got to do about it, right? The guy's like, yeah, well, but he took my money. So, like, we're supposed to have protection from you, right? And Solomon's like, right, I do. No, you are protected through the bakery, right? But what happens when a baker steals from a baker, right? And the other guy's like, I didn't, I didn't steal anything. I didn't steal anything. He lost his fucking money. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. And he's like, listen, mate, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to solve it for you. Don't, don't fucking worry. I got it. Right? And the guy's like, no, look, he stole my money. I want my money back, Saul. I want it back. He's like, don't worry, I'll get your money back, right? First off, both of you put your hands on the table. Oh, I knew it. They both put, like, their hand on the table. He's like, all right, who's going first? He's, like, just staring them both in the eye. And one of the guys is like, fucking thief will go first. And he just chops that dude's hand off. Not the thief, the dude that pointed to the other one. He's like... The guy, like, immediately goes to the ground, blood spurting everywhere. And the dude is, the dude standing there with his hand on the table is, like, not moving his hand. And, like, Solomon is staring at him now. He's like, so your friend just learned an excellent lesson, right? Here's the thing about lessons in our friend. Far too often they come far too fucking late. That was your lesson. And his lesson. His was late, yours is on time. Don't fuck that shit up again. He was like, Thank you, Solomon. <laughs> and starts to leave. And he's like, I did not fucking tell you you could leave, mate. He was like, I'm sorry. And his like, hand goes back on the table and he's like, Get the fuck out of my sight. Take him. <laughs> and he, like, he grabs the dude whose hand is like off, who is passed out at this point, and just begins carrying him out to the uh, direction of the warehouse that you know of. Mm. And Saul begins cleaning the counter. Oh, hey, it's my friend. What what can I do for you? Hi. You want some fucking bread? <laughs> yes. All right, are you going to pay for it? Oh, uh, that's okay. I have a biscuit. <laughs> but I can if you want me to. Where the fuck are you get a biscuit from? Uh, Cracker Barrel? Kraken Barrel? <laughs> Kraken Barrel? Cra- fuck. That shit will mess your stomach up. Okay, I won't eat it. Thank it's you for... garbage. Okay, sorry. I brought it. It's fun. It's just trash. Uh, I have a quick, uh, favor, if you don't mind. I don't want to bother your... What the fuck do you need? Do you have Eyebright? I don't know. Or anybody in the bakery, that's it. I don't fucking know if we got it, but you can always talk to Gunner. Okay, sure. He should be in the warehouse. Hey, can I... Is anybody around us? Uh, the one guard that walked in with you, who seems very on edge, having witnessed what he witnessed with you as well. Can I tell you something in regards to something you want? You want to stop asking questions. Just talk if you want to fucking talk. Okay. Um. So I have the Mateo kid. Yay me. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. That says why you've been in the wharf so fucking long, right? Yeah. All right. So in regards to what we 
talked about. He mentioned that he has jewels in the deed. I don't really believe him nor trust him. But I was going to just tell you that I had two places I thought it might be. But I don't know. I could try to see where the deed is and the other stuff. If you want to figure it out and tell me, I'd love it. Okay. Yes, sir. Yep. I can do that. As you say, yeah, I can do that. He's like, ah, take this. And he walks around the counter and pulls what appears to be oh, the sash that fell off the dude whose hand got cut. It's like soaked in blood. Oh. The guy may have pulled it off and try and like stem the bleeding before he passed out. And he's like, it's fucking yours. And he like tosses that, you know, just. Oh. It is soaked through with blood, but it is one of the blue sashes that the bakers wear. This feels so good. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> Thank you. There are rules with wearing that. Okay. You do not kill people I don't tell you to kill. With it on. Okay. I'm not a tyrant. <laughs> okay. You don't steal things I don't tell you to steal. You don't steal from your brothers and your sisters or that happens to you. You don't kill your brothers and your sisters. Well, not anymore. Sorry. With that on. Okay. And I best not find out about it. Okay. Or else then I got to do things and I don't like fucking doing things. Okay. I'm a busy man. Okay. Be fucking smart. And he goes back to work behind the counter. So can I go find Gunner or do you... I... I'm going to take it back if you keep asking for fucking Sorry. permission okay. for everything. Just fucking do what you okay, want to do. Okay, she goes. <laughs> you go. Um, you just make your way to Gunner. Yeah. Okay. You know of his like position of existence being the uh, large warehouse out to the... Um, if you're looking at the bakery to the right of it, um, the large building that you walked through with uh, Frank the night you guys were traveling with Ross before you went into the sewers, mm -hmm. where you saw like their hangout. As you make your way in, asking a few people, you very quickly locate Gunner's location. He's like on the far left, like the back left corner of the warehouse. He has kind of a, a pseudo shop set up. As you approach, you see him. He's an old, wiry human male. He kind of smiles as he sees you coming, and you note just a uh, hockey mouth. <laughs> um, he is just like, whether they rotted or have been removed by force, he has many missing teeth. Okay. That's it. Hi, can I get um, Eyebright? Do you have any? Oh, yeah, I got Eyebright. Okay, just one one dose. <laughs> just eat some, one of I like I was in a plant. Okay, I'll just take the plant. Is that what you said, plant? Yeah, I'll, I'll grow it here. Okay. And you can like see there's like a like a small like it's almost like a marijuana farm. <laughs> okay, just one. Uh, all right. He cracks it and hands it to you. Okay. Do you want any of this? And I show my phone. I'll take it off your hands. Okay, sure. Ten uh, gold. I'll give you four. Seven. Five. Five and a pence. What the fuck's a pence? <laughs> Six. Make a persuasion check. One. One. Five is fine. You're damn right five is fine. Oh, gun, I want I. <laughs> Runs a tough bargain. Well, thanks for the... Me and you five gold. Okay. Thank you. You're quite welcome. I got for free. Are you saying that to him? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just, just feeling it. Yeah, like it's like. Do you have anything else? I I'll have things that you might need in the field. Well, what do you need? Mm, okay. No, I'm good. Thank you. I mean, like, make a make a perception check or investigation. Sorry. Thirteen. Thirteen. Fourteen. Uh, you remember that this is the gentleman that Solomon said you could buy a gun from, and you note several hanging behind him, as How well much? as, like, different kinds of just, like, patched together armors and... How much for a gun? Uh, a gun? Mm-hmm. Uh, say 400 gold. 95. <laughs> Go fuck yourself! <laughs> okay. We'll see you later. Uh, bye. If you need anything... Okay. For field work, because you are wearing your sash, correct? Yes. J just let me know. Okay. Thank you. You're quite welcome. Can I go back to, um, I almost said Alfie. <laughs> Solomon. Alfie. Who's Alfie? 
Can I? Yeah, you can. I need bread. So you just barge back in? I need bread. Right, what fucking kind of bread do you want? Right. Oh, right. And he, like, turns around and pulls one of the breads off the shelf. Interesting choice. And hands it to you. Good, it's good bread, bro. It's good. It's five gold, mate. <laughs> all right. Yeah, he puts it back behind the counter. Is that all you got? Anything else you need? If we were to take out the Florentines. I fucking already told you. I don't want the Florentines gone. I know. So if you were to fucking kill the Florentines, well, I would see that as an act of betrayal to me and my crew. We won't. But will you be straight with me for a second? I'm always straight with everyone I fucking talk to, mate. It's my quality. Do you 100% trust them? I don't fucking trust anyone. I don't fucking trust you, mate. Okay. Eh? Yeah. Did you grow up with Mateo? Did he grow up around you? No, he's a fucking old prick. (laughs) What He's like, what, fucking 12 years old? <laughs> Maybe. What do you think would be the best to do with him? Uh, give him to the fucking people that want him. Okay. In one piece? But love. Hmm. Okay. Thanks. Get your fuck out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he, like, breaks a chunk of bread off ah. the wall, like, really old, stale shit, and just chucks it at you. <laughs> <laughs> she goes. Okay. The rain is... It's coming. Heavy. Mm-hmm. And I want to go really quick because I'm getting super freaked out about okay. You begin sprinting your way towards the wharf. Is anyone watching me? Make perception check. Sorry. I'm getting kind of nervous about Ruslo. Yeah, how long has it been? Oh, no, no. That's what that no. one. <laughs> that that one? She's so excited to belong. She shouldn't care. No idea how much time. You're just making your way back to Zara as fast as you can. Happy... That you are a part of another guild, potentially. And terrified that your friend is bleeding from the eyes. Yeah. And that you left Rourke and Frank in charge of someone. Yeah. Not calling y'all. I just know tap <laughs> to some extent. On your way. Frank and Rourke. Anything you guys wanted to do? Uh, after the uh, rock, paper, scissors yes. and stuff. So when you get new spells in the book, then mm. are you what? Do you just get to like just come up with new shit, or are you like finding stuff that's in your book? Like how how's that work? Some of it, I mean, most of it just comes like to me in like some sort of dream state. Okay, I feel it coming sometimes. You know, kind of kind of thing. It's yeah. like it's like a dramatic sort of like I wake up with a new found dream. Thing and then I write it down in the morning and I usually can't read my handwriting. Sometimes I lose spells that way, but it is a very good system still. I still like to use my little book. Do you have any control over like what what comes to you or no, 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 no? Much like a rhinoceros doesn't know where to find a. Um, I don't know where I was going with that. But okay. you get you get the sense of. Uh, but but if we like found more spells, you could you could learn them. Oh yeah, you pay your butt. Okay, all right. Yeah, good to know. And you need a gun still. You still can. <laughs> I would still like to have one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You just need to get one of those guns over at the bakery. Yeah. Well, maybe we'll hit another payday soon, and I'll be able to afford it. Par favor. Par favor. Yeah. Well, we'll stay on the lookout once we're actually around more. Uh, People that aren't just fucking terrified of magic for more uh, spells and shit. Yeah, yeah. With better, yeah. Uh, once I get more money in my pocket. Yeah. A little light. <laughs> little bit. Yeah. It's raining today, isn't it? Yeah, I really want to drink, but I don't want to wake Zara up. Oh, no, you'll, yeah. I mean... I mean, I'm pretty, I'm pretty loud on my feet. I could probably grab a drink. Yeah? You just scoot around in there and grab a little something? Yeah, I Are you sneaky? What? Are you I'm, trained in the ways of the sneak? I, I am trained in the ways of the sneak. Wait, who, which one of us is more sneaky? You or me? Mmm, that's a good question. It is. We could... Somebody's got to stay out here with this guy. Of course. We could take turns sneaking past Zara and grabbing shit from the basement and gradually see who can sneak bigger shit. I like this plan. Alright. Um, let's do it. Alright. Three gold again? <laughs> one. Can we start with one, please? We'll start and with then one. Once I get more cocky about it, then I'll start to add more. <laughs> I like it. Both of you make a stealth check. Uh, shit. Oh, no, baby. Six. 
Six. Eighteen. Cool. Uh, it doesn't matter. As you open the door, Zara has fallen asleep on the hatch. Uh. Ah. 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 So to get to the basement, you would have to move her. Sorry, not sorry. I'll make sure nobody comes in. She is still asleep. <laughs> ah, gotcha. Well, can I grow a little game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. As you say that... I want to look over at Mateo before I can make any moves. He is he is firmly unable to do anything. Okay, good, good. That's right. I want to tie the knots a little bit tighter. You attempt to. They're pretty damn tight. Mm. Yeah. 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 Sorry. No, just flip them off. <laughs> I imagine that that's what's happening is happening that comes through the door. You guys just stand there. I'm going to make this canon. You guys stand there for the better part of 20 minutes just flipping him off. No other action. That's canon. I made it happen. I DM willed it. As Tabitha breaks through the door. Do I see this? Zara. Break the door, Tabitha. In your sleep. Okay. Oh. You hear a crack of thunder. It sounds as if it echoes and rolls for miles around you. The sound of rain begins to creep in all around you. You hear the soft sound of a light misting and the tolling of the raindrops off your metal armor. You can feel the cold rain as it works its way into your armor and the smell of the fresh rain. But your sight eludes you. Everything around you is pitch black. Suddenly, a strike of lightning tears through the darkness. All at once, your senses become overwhelmed. The soft rain you had heard and felt is now a torrential downpour, with sheets of rain being thrown from left to right. The sound around you has become a cacophony of noises, all being drowned by the monsoon around you. Looking up, you see a black sky, moonless or sunless, but there is nothing above you but an abyss void of light. You grip your sword firm in your hand. Looking down at the hilt, you see a familiar symbol, one you've seen before in the Emberstone mine. Then a sound of thunder, and it is all black again. The soft rain returning around you. You can hear your own breathing inside your metallic helmet as you wait to see again. Then another streak of lightning illuminates the darkness. You hear shouting amongst the downpour, unable to discern anything. You look to see another figure in masterful armor shouting at you. You turn back, and before you, you can see the battle that is being waged. A floating feminine figure wrapped in the living garb of nature shapes the battlefield with her will, growing massive forests and casting the elements of fire and water across the field of battle. The earth shakes as she casts her magic. You turn suddenly to see a mountain shatter as a red behemoth sunders it. This mass of muscles and rage stands tall, hair as black as night with two massive tusks protruding from its lower jaw and a gnarled spear in its crimson hands. The red orc rushes forward at the feminine figure, throwing his spear at her. You watch in horror as the spear strikes true in her chest of the woman, throwing her across the horizon. Thunder, and all is black. Your breathing has increased. You can feel your heart inside your chest, the soft rain falling all around you. A final tear of lightning, and you are charging through the maelstrom at the Red Orc. The earth quakes beneath your boots. You hear shouts from behind you, and the sundering of earth, but your vision is fixed on the beast in front of you. You feel the sword in your hand pulse with energy, and the smell of ozone hits your nose as you bear down on him. And as you bring your blade down, you hear a deafening thunder. And awake. And that's where we'll stop for tonight.
Welcome to the Roaring Trainers Kanto in the Jazz Age, a real play, 5e, D&D podcast set in a 1920s Pokemon world. Follow Wesley, Sundoran, Atticus, and little Abby as they meet new friends, discover new Pokemon, and explore the landscape on their Pokemon journey. With mature themes, funny jokes, and sometimes dark storylines, the Roaring Trainers is a story for those of us who grew up on Pokemon and are looking for a Pokemon adventure that grew up with us. Follow them on Twitter and find them on any podcasting app by searching The Roaring Trainers. They took everything from us, Abby. I don't know who they are. I know the Red Rocket, but I don't know what that means. I just, I gotta find out, though. How am I supposed to beat all the gym leaders if I don't have any more Pokemon and if I can't win any battles? Fail more. The more you learn, the better you'll get. Everything in life is just an experience. It's all data. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time on The Roaring Trainers, Kanto in the Jazzy.